Hi everybody. Pretty recently, I was preparing the dashboard ready for like for development mode. I needed to pass it basically to developers, and there was like one thing: how should we load this dashboard page? Because the problem with this dashboard page is that it has a couple of modules that load pretty fast, up to three seconds, but two, three blocks that are loading up to 10, 15 seconds. And obviously just loading the whole page up to 10, 15 seconds isn't nice. So I had an idea how I wanted this page to be loaded, but obviously explaining it was really hard. So I just like made a prototype how I think it should load. And then I was connecting with my friend. She's also a designer and she was like, Hey, how did you do it? And I thought, let's make like a quick video. So let's take a look at how these dashboards is looking like and what is the expected results of by the end of this video. So let's just go straight to it. This is the dashboard. This model here and this model here, they will load up to 10, 15 seconds, but the rest is loading up like up to three seconds. And this is what you will have by the end of this video if you follow along. You will create like this nice shimmer that will go twice for this like first three seconds to load the first content. And then we will create like this smart animated progress bar to load up the rest of the content. So this will be like our final destination. And right now we will try to think about this skeleton. To do this skeleton correctly, we will mimic these cards here and then these cards here. Let's actually drop and start uh, doing rectangles to imitate these cards. We will try to mimic them as close as possible. So we have um, 408 for the width and 124 for height. And I think we have uh, round corners like for eight, yes. And also I will actually duplicate the color here, I think, or no, I think we'll have to actually go a little bit darker for the skeleton. Let's go like that. Okay. So for here, we need to like two cards to replace. And then we have this model here, but actually for now, we won't work with this model in this way. You will see it later. We will right now create the most simple skeleton possible just like that. And we will create the skeleton for this part too. So I just will copy it here and we will start applying things. Fill here is just white, pretty simple. Uh, however, wait, me, let me remember. Actually, we need to make it gray again. I think we'll have to change the backgrounds. Yes, you will see just in a second. Um, since I wanted to shimmer and I want like these two parts basically look the same, um, I think what I will do is that I will make the page really out for the loading, like very simple. And we will do same for these uh, lower items. Again, just using the same rectangle, basically. Now we have our skeleton, but how will we create this shimmer animation? Okay, we need to start grouping these things using the union selection. And same, actually, let me ungroup that quickly too. And we will unite those two. Just select all the rectangles you just created and basically union selection. Okay, now we have this union selection, this union selection. Why I'm doing this is because we'll have shimmer going through the left side and through the right side. Basically, we load at the same time. We will create the shimmer itself. Let's create just a rectangle. I will select with around like 150. I will have it white. Let's call it shimmer. And I see that it doesn't belong to the... Okay, now it belongs to the page because I wasn't seeing like the lines. Then it belongs... We'll add effects, as you can see, but we'll go to the layer blur. Since I have like with 150, I think I will do the same. Mm. I think I will go with 100 for the shimmer. So now we created our shimmer, basically. I like to have them around like 15 degrees going basically from like left to right. You obviously can make it even 30, I think, which may look nice. But for now, I'll just like stick with the 50 minus 15 to be correct. I will copy that union again and just place it where it is because we'll take the upper union for this like left side and we will grab the shimmer together 
We will basically select them too, and then we will create mask. We'll call this left shimmer, because we'll also do the thing on the right, and since we will use auto animate function within Figma, it's nice to have those always separated by name, so you wouldn't have bugs in the animation. We need to start moving our shimmer to the left. So I will move it to the left like that, until it disappears from the frame. And to be even extra specific, I like to set this via numbers because it will then create similar animation on the right, you will see. So let's remember this uh, number 80. We will move our mask over the top so it all belongs like there. Let's do the same for the right part actually. But now I need to copy this union on the right, only then I can copy the shimmer in plate at the top and bring it back to the okay to the frame now i need to make it higher obviously because we have higher like higher content where you go go through and we will again select the shimmer we will rename actually to shimmer right and we'll take this upper union on the right side and grab the right shimmer and we will mask it we will use mask same on the left side we will rename this to right shimmer instead of left shimmer and we will make it go over to the left we will center it just to make sure it's centered okay and we will again make sure that oh actually i just need to move it by one pixel and now it's nice 80 pixels from the left at the same as we had on the uh, like left panel right now what we will do we will basically duplicate the same frame and what we will do now i guess you can tell is that we will move our shimmer to the right because we'll have our animation go from left to right and what i will do is that i will take the union like my mask and this like shimmer left and we'll make sure that it's also uh, has 80 uh distance like 80 pixels distance between we will do same for the shimmer that we have on the right side just to make it quicker okay we will take it and make it 80. what we're gonna do we'll go into prototype you would want to select the dashboard and basically throw a line and what we will do we'll select after delay just a short delay just like uh, 100 milliseconds we will do the method not instant but rather smart animate and I think what we're gonna do here, so what I wanted is that for these three seconds, while the major, that was interesting, while the major amount of content will be loaded, I wanted this animation to go through twice. So it means that I need to use approximately one and a half seconds for this like one round. Uh, put here like one, 1400 milliseconds i think it should work yes now actually at like starting point and let's go and see how it looks like you will immediately see this animation yes press r to restart you will see our like one round of shimmer since i wanted this to happen twice in three seconds all that means is that i basically need to duplicate these two screens and repeat this animation down below we will remove this full starting point and between those two we will just create like a very quick after delay thing to move from one cycle to another but after delay again just like a very symbolic 100 milliseconds we will do not smart animate but just dissolve is in for same 100 milliseconds how it will look like right now is that what happened okay that was that was just a weird bug now as you can see for three seconds what happens we have two of these like rows of shimmer after that we will start immediately to see some of the content before the rest loads so now we can copy our dashboard this means that some of the things will already be loaded and we will just leave it like that but these things, however, won't be loaded yet. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna create empty boxes now for the rest of the things that didn't load. We have our box. Oh, actually, wait for a second. For this part, I think we might actually start using frames, not the uh, shapes, but we can just go and stick with the good old frame. 
Um, okay, fill container, fill container. We will have it cropped at eight, the same with the rest. And I will just call it block. Okay, uh, because this is the thing that will be loading though. And for this part, these two cards are already loaded. However, this like block isn't yet. Basically, I'm gonna create the frame here as it was before. We'll add block. I will create a fill same as this like module. So I created this block. We can remove it. Look nice. So we will connect those like from the last shimmer to this new version of first upload, first data upload. And we will do after delay. We will go to navigate to same. I don't know why I keep on clicking there. And we will do actually a very quick dissolve 100 milliseconds. This is how it look right now. We had two rounds of load, and now we have our load. Uh, however, I'm not sure what's like so so slow. What? Oh yeah, okay, guys. I sorry. I said it's going to be like 100, 100. There was like 800. Right now, it's supposed to look much smoother. Okay, we have first shimmer, second shimmer, and now we have the data loaded. But we still have these two containers left, right? And since I know that it will be loading up to like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, this is why we'll have to start using progress bar. Let's just go and start working on our progress bar. So uh, we will just do that progress bar left specifically because we'll have also one on the right and I just don't want them to be mixed up. It will be like eight. Uh, 8 pixels height. Uh, I think we need to select any color for the base. I think this will work, right? Okay, this works. We'll have it 200 width. We will center it in the frame. And now all we need to do is to add basically the progress bar itself. Okay, uh, we'll select the same round corner. We'll have it like with 16 and now we need to select some sort of primary color and i think we'll select this one yes okay and this is like the indication left okay now we have our progress bar and we will just duplicate the same thing over to this module we again we'll separate it uh and but we will separate it by name and we will just center it inside this module. And this one's going to be called obviously right. What we're going to do right now is that we will copy these dashboards here. These already will have the fully filled in state. So all we have to do is just basically feel the progress like with this shape. We will do the same on the right. Okay. And now to make the transition from the screen before that was not filled in progress bar, we we'll still have to do is that after delay, like again, symbolic delay here, 100 milliseconds, and it will be smart animate is in and we will take maximum like for 10 seconds. I know I put a lot of like numbers, uh, zeros, but it will always default to maximum of 10 seconds. And this is will create the animation. But before we'll go right now, see final result, we'll immediately just link the last board where we'll have all the things loaded. Uh, we will create again, simple after the way, 100 milliseconds. We'll have 100 milliseconds is in, but it will be it dissolve, a very quick one. So let's see how it looks like. We'll restart. We have our first two shimmers. Now we'll see the first information that was loaded. And now you can see that these two modules, they're very nicely loading in the background. So our user can already interact with things on the page. And now we have everything done on the page really nicely. Let's just take a look at it again. We have our skeleton, then we have our first bits of information, which you already can use, and the rest blocks that are loading, you know, the longest will take their time and they will be updated. But I think when you try to make sure that your design goes to developers, to development, so that you are able to communicate what you expect, how the page to load. I mean, it's nice to explain it by words, but I think it's it's just, it's like, it's so simple to do right now. It took us like not that much time to basically recreate how we might expect the thing to load. And obviously if you don't record video, it will be even quicker. It's It doesn't have to be like this complex. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was uh, useful and uh, that you will be able right now to create these quick prototypes, basically to show how you think the system should load, especially when you work with these like very specific types of data that may be loading much longer than users will basically tolerate. Okay, I'm gonna see you soon in next videos. Bye-bye.